Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday, October 9th, 2016. Today, we're going to talk about my Heinz Craft, Craft Heinz trade. Um, I'm going to talk about how I bought it for a stock appreciation move, but then I was going to sell it outright when I wanted the stock appreciation uh, to be realized. Uh, but at the last minute, I decided, well, you know, I'm going to write a cover call on it and sort of extend my uh, profit and feel good about it. So what I did with uh, Kraft Heinz is generate additional income on a great company, a great stock where I would have sold um, essentially using covered calls to sort of continue um, just creating uh, additional income with it. Let's go ahead and start it off today, okay? And we're going to talk about how these covered calls are reducing my dollar cost average on the stock, okay? I want you to, uh, let's start off by going, I want you to go to Google and Google corepositiontrading.com. You're going to see my blog site where we talk about everything from uh, good stock plays to, to success stories to even estate planning. Uh, just, just talking about uh, things that uh, interest me and uh, sometimes they can be uh, sort of fun and silly uh, like this last post of Amazon where we talk about uh, Amazon's current stock price and what it would have been uh, if they didn't split believe it or not almost ten thousand dollars a share unbelievable um, Google that core position trading I also want you to go to my YouTube channel and I want you to subscribe okay you're already there let's go ahead and click that subscribe button okay because I want you to learn about the intricacies of writing covered calls okay you know you watch the videos on YouTube they, they tell you to buy a stock write a covered call make the income and and everything seems uh, rosy and, and and no issues and no writing covered calls uh, is a skill and you need experience and once you have that experience, you will learn the game within the game that I talk about. And my videos talk about everything from uh, buying covered call, buying your option back, uh, rolling it forward, um, dollar cost averaging with covered calls. Uh, even I talk about things like should you be buying online investment uh, help and, and things like that. And also talk about the current uh, situation of my covered call writing for income. And you'll see, last video I wrote might interest you. And I also have, by the way, I use little tools that I've created, okay, spreadsheets and stuff, and we talk about that. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and I uh, want you to subscribe, and let's go ahead with the video. Um, Heinz Craft was a, uh, was a company that I bought... Uh, back here, okay, markets were uh, sort of teetering back here. They were sort of in a downward trend. Heinz Craft uh, had announced earnings, I believe, and uh, I said, you know, uh, I wouldn't mind owning some Heinz Craft, pick up the dividend. Notice the dividend was around this time. I went ahead and picked that up. Uh, so my, my dollar cost on Heinz was $80X, okay? And I got this dividend, and I got this nice little run in the stock. And I was about to sell. Heinz Craft was at 89 bucks. Okay. I said, you know, I want to sell it at 90. So I actually put in a sell order at 90. And it didn't take. Uh, it didn't take. So I, I, I said, man, you know, uh, I could sell this outright, market sell. But I said, you know, let me check the premiums on Kraft Heinz. And sure enough, uh, one month out for a 90 at the time, uh, I think paid like 60 something cents. And I said, you know, I feel very confident that Heinz is going to trade in this uh, nice little uh, trading range right here. And uh, I'm going to be able to write some covered calls on it. And if I get stopped out at 90, I'll take 90. That's what I wanted. And sure enough, sure enough, look what has happened. And this is the game within the game. This is called hitting a double, triple with the same stock a lot of times in the same period. So I write the covered call here, okay, and I pick up the premium, and look what happens. Heinz starts to fall. 
that premium goes from 60 cents. I don't have the numbers here in front of me, but it goes from 60 cents probably to under 10, under 10 cents. And I end up buying that premium back because it doesn't cost me anything from Fidelity. And then I wrote another covered call. And I then had picked the 90 strike and it came up and it did not hit and it fell again. And I bought it back. I think I got paid a dollar for that. Bought it back under 10 cents. And what'd we do again? We then had went and wrote another one. Now I'm going to show you on my sheet over here the, the real stats, okay? And what I did was I went ahead and my first covered call generated this income right here, okay? But essentially, every time it fell, I went ahead and bought it back and wrote another covered call, okay? Increasing my income, still on the shares, still writing the uh, 90 strike to be taken out. And look what has happened. I have actually generated that income on top of the stock appreciation. And that income has reduced my dollar cost average of the stock. So what did I do on Friday? The, the last option I was paid a buck 20 and it fell to 20 cents. I bought the option back at 20 cents and I wrote, I think I wrote a uh, November 18th for an 87.50 and got paid $2.30, okay? So that was, a, that was a serious number right there, okay? So my dollar cost right now is 76.60. Okay. Because I wrote these covered calls, I brought my dollar cost, my ownership of the stock down to 7660. So now I'm able to write covered calls a little little closer to the money. Now if, if my shares get stopped out, then I get stopped out. That's fine. That's what I wanted to do. But I have made additional from the original stock move an additional 1200 plus dollars in this by writing covered calls and not selling the stock, okay? Had I sold it right here, we would have moved on with the money, picked something else up, made some trades, hope, hope we win. But with this, I was able to generate these covered call incomes plus this money, and look at this. I picked up two dividends, one dividend, two dividends. And they paid, by the way. So I want you to consider writing covered calls on your shares and, and, and use, this, use this idea where as you keep generating that income, it's actually reducing your costs. This, these covered calls have reduced my cost on craft from 8073 down to 7663. And now I can, uh, I can write tighter to the money covered calls, still be in the money, and make higher premiums, or my shares will be taken away, and I profit all of it. So with that said, think of writing multiple covered calls and, and consider that money as lowering your cost basis, and uh, you'll be fine. I, hey, look, whether I sell Heinz Craft, uh, Crafts Heinz um, in the future, I might move into something different. But for now, this plan is working and you could see um, uh, it's working in a positive way. So hey, I hope you learned something with this video. Um, I'm gonna do another one on Las Vegas Sands and writing weekly covered calls. So uh, I hope, uh, I hope uh, you're learning something from these videos and I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel because I want you to see these. Uh, so until next time, I hope all your covered calls are profitable.